Greetings, fellow analogs. Welcome back to our little Knuters town. And right away in this episode, I'm going to do something that box me actually quite out. And that's the entrance to this hospital here. I don't know if you've noticed, but there is this beautiful alley there. And I would, would like to have it on both sides. However, we don't really have the space for that. And we do have space here. So let's just get this one over. Get the houses all over there like this. We can move the school like that. And boom, I do have room for another tree alley just like I wanted to. Let's also turn around the school here um, so that the school is having its entrance there. And boom, another world problem solved, in my opinion, and we can continue happily with our city expansion. One of those things is upgrading the town. And as we can see, we do have a lot of people that are ready to upgrade right away, especially also a lot of farmers to workers. However, we do need to reinforce some of our productions. One of them is the grain farm. So we do have quite a lot of them on this area, in this area. And I would like to continue now with a few more grain farms on that side here too. Oh, and yeah, we do lose some repetition there with uh, Malkin once again. And we could try to flatter him a bit. He's got an amazing body and we just want to tell him that also mm, barrel yeah there is a bit of that and yeah with the pirate of course as always it's just a coin of luck that we need to toss here ceasefire i'm not even trying that at this point we still continue though happily with our ship building let's continue with a few more green fields now what happens when i'm running out of space here reason is simple we have a or the solution is simple we do have the docklands for that and uh, i'm totally determined to use my dock lens on any of that let's just have a nice road connection here too that goes then to the main road so we still have this area available for any harbor stuff and we have 45 farmers i think with that we will probably bring this one down let's also upgrade the warehouse there as we need and then yeah let's just go ahead and build us a few more farmers as nachtessen is also growing into yeah well a bigger village there at least right so that we have the workforce all of that another clipper is ready perfect there you go actually it's not this this is rg where's my clipper oh it's on the other side right because my clippers are on the way to to rg and we can continue selling them for 7500 pushes us to 111,000 right now so this is the highest count yet and of course we continue onwards since that is still not really a lot of money let's also have more people upgraded here so these are the farmers that i want to upgrade right however we are pretty limited with the upgrading of farmers these days because my workforce of farmers is already limited let's just have these blocks here too and as we can see this brings me actually down now but we have a plague in this area so that's raging at the moment with the next clipper that is getting over to Archie, I would like to invest some of my coin into some more steel beams and bricks. With that, that's 20,000, right? So this is actually quite a lot. But with that, we can seriously boost our economy quickly. And I would like to do this. 100 tons more steel beams come in very handily because I would also like to continue now getting my, my next trade contract up. And as we can see, costs me quite a bit of it. And we can build one right away. I would like to do this. Also gives me some nice attraction. So we are actually a foul city now. So already much more beautiful than the disgusting one that we just had. Let's have another module then over there. And probably also some depots then down the road. We don't need a loading wharf yet as trading times are not really severe. Now, we also have... That is something I probably should go ahead with. And that is the the Africa um, expedition. So we have the frigate here that gives me some navigation boost. Or Knutus. I could also then go ahead. We do need diplomacy and faith. Um, I think the bread would give me faith and rations. So yeah, oh, we are down on bread there. So let's go to 40 tons of bread. For diplomacy, however, a bit of beer I can still add. And this also gives me a morale boost. I don't have any items that I could use. So for the last one, I could use something like some planks. Gives me some morale. And it's pretty good for repairing stuff that happens on the ocean. The African Queen it is. Let's go ahead and actually put the frigate on the expedition for Africa. It's pretty expensive. But it's going to be worth it if we get a good island out of that. We should definitely go for it. I mean, we do get a good island out of that, right? We do get the the main island right away. But we could then also start settling on the other ones. About the plague, uh, my hospital, I cannot really afford right now. We do have my hospital just too far away there. Uh, we could pave the road there a bit. And perhaps do something. 
like this. Yeah, at least this block here is being reached now, but those guys here are going to be doomed. We can, however, continue with another city expansion. So it's getting a bit tight here now, right? So we do have still these three sawmills. Let's just get them over. And then I have this lumberjack hut that there's absolutely no room anymore for this one here. We also have, we're also pretty stuffed here. There is still another 100%, right? Very close also to my warehouse. This is fine. And with that, we do get some space here back again. Exhausted that we can use for additional city space. Let's just do this like so. And here we have the main road then, and I might actually, might actually make, make it like so, because then we can squeeze in some more houses. And also, also at least one here, and another one here. These guys here do need a road connection after all. And here, we are probably going to have then a, a wall, right? An industrial wall that separates us from the industrial zone. And then perhaps also a few more here. As every single farmer counts right now, let's build them. And there's the lumberjack hut now. So this is this is a problem then, of course. Let's just quickly check out the docklands because we are going to need them, of course. I'm exporting right now soap for the piggies so for the pigs that we we're going to need but i think also we might be toning down on the on the pigs then and we might actually ramp it up for some locks there as well so let's just go ahead and get us the, the soap in here and let's go ahead and use the green actually so the 100 soap for uh, 115 green that doesn't seem like it's worth it at the moment but of course the soap is also not even a tier one speciality slot good yet right so it is at the lowest value there is and also we still haven't really unlocked anything else yet so i need to i need to get the volume started as we've already noticed in the last episodes we need to start with actually something that we export in a bigger quantity in order to unlock all the other very important goods that we have then right so we're still at the very basic dockland and i would like to get cracking on a better docklands now we are having a potential production here oh an escort quest and we will get a bone saw out of that let's actually go ahead with this and where do we need to go for this quest all the way to the other side we're still at peace with him so let's just use four of my royal galleons and get them over to carl von leonard so in that case in 30 minutes they should be over there i think that is possible let's get this over um and send my fleet to this location so that we can finally use our ships there as well at some point right and I'm not going with engineers yet, by the way, because I know with engineers that the AI is very likely to go to war with us. Um, let's just quickly unload that. So we are going with the green here, right? Tobias is arriving right now so that I can get a bit of volume up there. And for the soap, we are producing a potential of um, 60, 120 right now. So I should also get ahead with boosting my production for the soap here. We do have, and yeah, not really the workforce, but still... Let's just uh, go ahead and get the... Let's get those piggy farms out there. And then I would also like to go ahead with probably two more rendering works and one more soap factory. As we can see, very dangerous. Um, and with that, with that, with that... You know, I can't really do that much else. I cannot even upgrade. We probably really just should go ahead and build us a hospital here. So that would be somewhere here in the center. Now, of course, I hate it that if there is something in the vicinity, you cannot abandon or you cannot destroy these buildings here. Because this is the perfect location for a good hospital. Alright, at least that, that. Let's also go ahead and sell the next clipper and this one here. Because I do need money. Right? We do have 130,000 right now. And if I look at that, the ship items do cost me quite a bit. So 18,000 here. That's actually a very basic item. But the plating, for example, that increases my hull is going to be at around 80,000 or 60,000. So I would like to purchase a few of them. Let's also go ahead and further boost our... And further boost our... No, what is that? Wait a second. No, this is fine. Yeah, this is not fine here. Here we do have a connection with the, the slaughterhouses. This is something I cannot have, so let's get rid of this connection down there. We should still have the connection all the way up there, that's right. right. But there is no connection anymore now with, with the slaughterhouses, so that they don't get down there. What? Alright, the pirate is also close by, and as we can see, we do have some pirate battle there. 
Uh, yeah, this is actually a problem though for us, right? The pirate could attack in a bigger force. There it's down. Oh yeah, also let's have a look at the loot. There's also another pirate ship coming here. Let's break formation so we can more quickly destroy him. And there's also a frigate coming on the other side. So let's just stay in the middle there and attack both of them. Because those ships of course can fire from both sides. And that frigate is already down, so it's all about this warship there now. It's also going down rather quickly. Let's just check out the loot as well. We actually have a chance against the pirates for now. There's a bit of loot. I am excited about that because that could be something very good. There is only a bit of rum here. Oh, only rum here too. So just the basic pirate food. And then there's still something over there. Oh, that is a very good item here. A, a, a Abbas Khan. So this one is a special item that we can activate in combat, right? And we can fire it then to inflict a higher amount of damage. Also, we could sell it for 20,000. But that's that. This is actually a viable business module with those ships. They're pretty strong. We could just go ahead and hunt down pirates and get the loot out of everything. I'm totally up for that, to be honest. Because the pirate is really weak at the moment. Go ahead and no loot unfortunately here. Alright, let's continue onwards with the escort mission. So we are very close to that now. Oh, poor Anne Harlow. We just destroyed a few of her ships and military-wise she's still pretty strong and probably still has a pretty high demand. The captain informs you about a problem loading the ship. Alright, expedition cannot be started yet because we do lack some bread there. Do we have beer? We do at least have the beer. So let's go ahead and start with that now. This is fine, right? We were not able to load all the bread, but it's still fine. We can also start with the escort mission now. Let's just use the Abbas gun there. Boom, there it is. And that is only a rare item, but it was a nice additional damage that we inflicted upon this ship. No loot. But we continue now with that escort mission. So there's definitely also going to be some attack. And the goal is where exactly? To Malkin's lighthouse. So all the way over there and somewhere. Yeah, to this location we need to get the ship now. I'm especially then eager for the 12,000 credits and the aid reputation with Leonard. So this is going to turn out well. Oh, there is already the... These are the quest ships, right? And this is the pirate ship. So the pirate ship, let's also use the Abacus gun again, the Abbas gun, there it is. Vicente also likes it that we do some damage here. And then we just kill, destroy this ship here. How often can I use this gun? Yeah, it has a, a one minute cooldown. Down it is. Let's take the loot. And yeah, we are already taking some damage here now, right? So this ship there is ready for a repair crane soon. 16 tons of weapons. That's not so bad. It's okay. Okay, no other warship close by. There's still one more. So she's spawning more ships then. But we should be fine. We should be fine. This one here probably not that much. With that one, we probably will need to get to a, a harbor and a safe haven rather soon. Alright, I'm actually in the process still of looking it up here. What's going on? Do we have now the ability to destroy something? We don't we still have the plague raging. But I wanted to Ship get my ready. silos in here. So let's go ahead and add those silos to those pig farms. Ah, come on. Another pirate ship. I mean, where are they coming from anyway? <laughs> Down it is. She offers these 560,000 now. That actually doesn't sound so bad. Only that we could, we don't have any coin then anymore. So I'm still going to decline with this one. And there's the quest item spawning now. Uh, the quest ships spawning. And this one definitely needs to get a bit away there now because that ship here could destroy it potentially now. Let's move it away. Unfortunately, they're really so slow. This is actually a pretty hard quest. Look at that. The Clipper is taking quite a lot of damage there too. And the pirate is also attacking once more. That is quite a lot of resistance here. Um, and with, yeah, and this, there's also the next frigate coming in from the pirate. I'm, I'm about to lose one of my ships there, I think. 
Now we are taking down this frigate there. Ah, come on, get over there. Yeah, we are losing. We're losing one of the ships here. This one is stuck. This is really bad. Oh, oh, we, we still survived. But, yeah, I will only have now those two warships then protecting the clipper for the quest. Yeah, okay, this is bugged. The, this just spawned out of nowhere here. There is no way I can I can actually protect my my ship with that. They just spawned right out of there. This is this is downright cheaty. There was no ship close by because the other one is still here. That is just foul play. I'm sorry. But there's no other way to to say this. Yeah, and we lost both of these ships. Oh, come on. This is frustrating. This is absolutely not okay if these ships just outright spawn in front of you. Um, let's continue building them. We have another one out here. And those two are still finishing their job, right? So that that's very close now. Unfortunately, we also lost the Abyss gun there again. But that's that. And yeah, we're being chased down by these those two pirate ships now. So they endlessly spawn, right, and just chase down your ships if you're not careful enough. And I am not. Because I have an economy to manage also. Now, very good. Um, I was also in the process of uh, getting those pig farms up, right? So we still have uh, the Saito here. This one. And this one. This will, of course, also increase my grain production once more. Or grain consumption. So we need to increase the production. Ah, uh, we can still go ahead with 20. 20 should be fine. That is the 10. So we're still having a plus 10 happy happiness. And I still have some farmers. So let's go ahead and also build two more grain farms here. I'm seriously angry right now that we lost two ships there to the pirate. That is still that is absolutely not okay. <laughs> Let's, but we are at least getting to Carl Leonard von Malkin here. So we will finish that quest. But I'm not doing another one of these quests. They're too dangerous right now. There's too many pirate ships that just spawn in the ocean and destroy you. And I think we also should have yeah, yes, another clip already for sale. Jolly, jolly. And another one here. Ah, yes. And let's also build a few more clippers. Because we have them and we have the timber for all of that. And also, yeah, two more warships are coming out anyway. And we finish now that quest. Now, there you go. We get some repetition, we get the bone yeah. saw, and we get the 12,000 credits that I like a lot. Let's get my ships back home. We are already being chased by the next pirate ship of the line. Let's destroy this one because it's already at half health there almost. And perhaps we do get some item there back again. Ship under attack. Down it is. Unfortunately, no loot. Let's get back home. At least the plague is gone from this inner city or inner center here. So I can now go ahead and build me another hospital. Something that we definitely should be doing as, yeah, we're we are pretty much going down here. Um, and let's also have this one there once again. Because I just like the look of that. And everything that's been destroyed here, let's repair. We do get some of our farmers back. And why is the workers down exactly? Yeah, there's also the plague now in the worker district. So I'm going ahead and upgrade more farmers than here to counter that a bit. We have more grain now. Let's also build another flour mill. And also two more bakeries. And I'm not I'm still not going to increase any working conditions here for the bread. Uh, for the bread we are at one pl plus one then, once the production fully ramps up. And for the flour, we're exactly equal. And for the grain, we do consume now 19 grain per minute. So actually quite a lot already for this one. And yeah, also finally, the hospital here is working. There's two doctors treating the patients. Hopefully also getting rid of this problem. 
You also have quite a nice steel surplus and sewing machine surplus. I would further like to boost this by building another um, sewing machine factory right over there. And probably also a third one. Because first of all, we do have the artisans. And what I can do with that is we can start building sewing machines up as one of our export goods for the Docklands. Let's also upgrade this one here. And Malkin offers us uh, trade rights for 26,000. And we, are, we will go ahead with this because we also boost our reputation with this guy and I can finally also start trading with him directly. He's got another quest then ready here. That perhaps, hopefully not an escort. It's another escort quest. I'm not doing this for now, sorry. I have to decline. As I'm just too scared of the pirate. We got four ships again. So we're almost back to our original force. And another one is coming out then here soon. Also, something that I definitely should be going ahead with now is start building up some harbor defenses. They will boost my military score. We can build them. We have the building materials as well. It's not really about the protection at this point. It's all about getting some military score up, right? The higher that is, the more likely it is for the pirate to like us then as well. And my African exp expedition requires something. So where should we go? We have the first step on our journey. And we do need to decide to Olispo or to Al Suk. And great rewards may come to those who succeed in this. Let's go to Olispo. And a streetcar named Olispo. The lights of Olispo glimmer through the spray as your sailors hasten to secure their mooring. Music and merriment spill from the narrow streets. And we hail from Il Campanile. We do have the beer, so we can do this. And. Order a generous round of port, and we can once again... Ah, I'm not... I could offer the the 20 tons there, and this is certain to actually work out. So offer the trade. And that was successful, and without any morale loss, we can continue our journey towards the ancient labyrinth. Well, oh, let's go for this. Well, better than the Delta. And look at that, now Beryl Omara also offers trade rights without any demand. So let's go ahead and accept this one as well. Since a bit of trading with them can't hurt our feelings that much. What does Carl, for example, have to offer? Quite a lot actually, right? So also iron ore, a lot of that. And he would purchase sewing machines for a very good price there. And also some goulash there for an even better price. Considering that goulash is rather cheap to make. Not the worst, not the worst here. But only three he would purchase. Let's continue onwards with the Docklands. So we have now the soap trading intact, right? So we, we import just any kind of um, grain and pigs that we get out of that. Um, and we are at 250 for the soap volume there already. Now we have the sewing machines. So let's go ahead and continue with the export office over there. And I would like to go ahead then and finally start also getting my sewing machines into my city or out of my city, right? And using them for some proper trading. Uh, we could go ahead probably with either the work clothes for that. I would like to check how many we consume. Way too many, right? So that would be 500 work clothes that we need to import if I want to substitute that production chain. And for that, we would need to get 60 sewing machines out, a volume that we just cannot afford right now. We have, a, I think, a meager production surplus of, let's just check it out, of five. So that's 100 that we could get out um, every 20 minutes. But we also have at the same time the newspaper guy. So let's just quickly check him out. Let's keep the happiness there. Let's only have one 15% profit anymore and use the other one for my negative 30 consumption. So we are going towards our final um, permanent newspaper articles again. I'm still keeping this one here without propaganda. So this is just the financial powerhouse that we have a very good ba credit balance. The other ones I'm going to keep at minus 30 and plus 15. And with that, we should be very, very nicely looking at a huge surplus now for any kind of good. And this allows us now to also use work cloth and schnapps in the Docklands because we don't really need that many anymore, right? So we don't need 450. Nope, we actually just need, yeah, let's say 350 um, every 20 minutes. So with that, we could actually lower the amount here, right? So... That would be, yeah, let's make it 45 tons. We have a surplus of 100, don't forget that. And we get 400 workloads out of that, so just as much as we need. And that means I don't need to have my workload production anymore. Of course, you could also argue I could go for this big unsettled island here in the middle, 
The problem with that is we'll probably never be able to defend it uh, once we go to war. It would be lost. So any kind of uh, foundation that I lie out here is probably lost pretty quickly to any big attack. So we are not going to settle on this island. I'd rather use the Docklands to juggle around my productions. And in that case here, workload seems to be the right choice. Newspaper guy, once again, the ancient labyrinth, so alone in the darkness, they cannot hear her cries. The outline of a majestic corned door faces north, um, or we go down a more humble passage to the south. Enter the horned door, or the humble passage. This sounds more like adventure. And a large door with a familiar pattern opens to the south, a second smaller door to the west. And once again, we need to decide, and let's head west. And you push the broken door open and you almost stepped on one, on a, on a trap. Or a, on a snake actually, so advance stealthy. There's lots of snake ahead, so stomp the ground with all your might or advance stealthily. Let's, let's try this. And a more patient person might have navigated the serpent weave successfully. Um, or one with greater skill. And when one of your match dies, a strange hiss overcomes the crowd of onlooking reptiles. You strike a new one up hurried, hurriedly. As the light flares back up, you make the mistake of letting out a relieved grunt. And it rears its head angrily, bearing long fangs. Crush it under heel before it attacks. Oh god. And yeah, we do lose some morale here. And its fangs sink into your calves. We lose someone to that. We need to continue. The staircases lie ahead of you and descend the steps or head east. Let's head east. And the ceiling is coming down. And once again, we need to decide in what direction we go. So you kind of like get the, the idea here. And with that, we leap forward with the force of youth and desperation. Open the door and darkness there and nothing more. You have one match left. And into the darkness, let's strike the last match to see what also lies ahead. A dusky ochre light reveals a wide room and you have just enough time to distinguish the flared nostrils and sharp horns of a colossal bull. Of course, in this labyrinth there is a colossal bull hiding in the darkness and we just, well, stand absolutely still and see what happens. And actually we do get a reward out of that, which is a bull head. <laughs> we accept, we probably will get rid of... I mean, this is a pretty good item here. Actually, it's not. It's not for museum, it's not for the zoo. It just would give me some um, diplomacy skills. So we are going to skip it to keep our materials and we continue onwards in this journey. So this is rather rushed, of course, but we've had this several times and these stories just really drag out and I rather skip them through. And in that case, it was successful by just journeying through a labyrinth. What's happening then with my hospital? We can mobilize my work for uh, my, my, my doctor so we can more quickly get rid of them of any kind of plague that we still have in the area. And then I'm just waiting for my Docklands trade to happen now. And this will then once again revamp my trading, my economy there just a bit. And we continue then afterwards. Stay tuned.